Hello friends, today I'm going to make a grungy uh, index card iCAD. Well, they're more once a week, not every day, so it's not index card day, but these ones are um, just grungy type. So I have my paper towels from my paintings I, were, I was working on, and um, this is where I got the result of. So I'm going to use these to make a grunge index card for an inspiration for your index card. So that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my Mod Podge on here and start working with it. So I thought, well, this is just going to be really scraps today um, and a stencil. And I think that will be good for today. That's what I want to do. Work with your scraps. So if you have uh, baby wipes or paper towels, any kind of scraps that you use to wipe up your paint mess, that's what we're going to use for today's piece. And what I'm going to do here, put it on just like that. Yep. Really want to stick it on good. I want to make sure I got my ends on good. I want to really get it good and I'm going to get the top. But I also want the bottom layer sticking. So just checking, making sure. And oh, the dogs are, of course, barking. What would be a chihuahua without any barking? So. This is the first step. Grab your paper towel, your napkin, whatever, and put it on. Yep, the kids are back. That's why they're barking. Okay. So, get that glue on there. Isn't that pretty background? So it's going to be really nice. And I'm just putting more and more because the this is sprays, paints. This is all sorts of media on here. And it's going to be nice. So you can keep your scraps too for little pieces and edges and borders. So they're always nice. I'm going to dry that on there. And you're going to have nice texture with that. There. Yeah, it is on. Now I'm going to dry. So now I have it dry. And then grab my scissors. Mmm. Right here. These are just my all purpose ones here that I use for my paper. I'm going to use them for my napkin part. So this is all the stuff that you still keep because it's perfect. And it's here too, like a border. Perfect for another card. So it's nice to keep. So now I have this and it looks really cool. I was thinking about grabbing some metallic lusters. Um, you can grab any kind of metallic paint. Um, this one's from Deco Arts. And I'm just going to grab a little bit because I want to throw some red here and there and grab some of that, like acting like a rub and buff type of thing. So if you have something that's creamy and you dry, put it on very dry on your fingers, it'll, it'll still get the wrinkles, the veins, the little hills of it. But I'm just doing it because, I don't know. Because I was like, well, I had it right here. I wasn't planning it. It's right here beside me, so why not? And it brings out some really nice color. So I just love it. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Very pretty. Very pretty. So this is that. And then, like I said before, it dries really. It looks creamy and look thick. You put it on maybe a little thicker, but it dries. And really nice. So it's perfect. And now this is just out of, isn't that a nice background? Just out of your your inked up. I have this 
stencil. Andy Skinner stencil here. This is a mixed media stencil and it is 8 by 8 and I wanted to give you a little preview of this stencil because if you're joining me in my collage um, my collage uh, sorry guys my brain is just like what am I talking about if you're joining me in my collage challenge um, you guys will know that there's a prize one of these stencils is going to be in that prize to someone random who is joining my collage just to let you know so if you guys want to join in this is um, one of the prizes in there so uh, the, not this exact stencil but a brand new one so just letting you know so I thought I would show it off today to to let you guys see it. I know it's a little on the big side for this particular card, but I wanted to use it anyway. So, this is going to be a nice um, stencil for if you guys, you know, to win it for a uh, canvas or any kind of um, nice journal page or anything like that. So, let's see here. What do I want to do? I guess I'm going to do this I can upside up this way just because then I can get this full face in there this fella and I am oops, dropping my phone which is really nice <laughs> okay So I have a nice ultra fine glitter paint and it's black and I want to try that out. So I am actually putting a little bit using the lid and I'm going to use one of these uh, brushes. Well, one of these, I don't know. It's, for, uh, it's good for pouncing. I also have a pouncer, but we're going to see like how this blacky color will look. I'm actually going to pour it into a palette, which didn't come quite clean, but that's okay. Anyway, I used what was in the, I already used what was in the, so I'm just going to pounce it. If you have too much on your brush, you just pounce off, but it's got a metallic, nice sparkle to it, so I want to see, it's not going to be a sharp, sharp black, but I still want to see how that's going to turn out. And this particular brush, I'm not even sure where I picked it up, so there we go. To reveal it, here we go. He's not I'm back thinking I might want to go over him with a darker black. So this black is a nice black, but I'm just gonna put the rest back into my bottle here but it is still too transparent it's too it's not quite dark enough so hey that works so it's good try I'm going to dry them up and I'm going to okay. it's got a nice sparkle thing but I want more crisp see how nice it is So let's try it with a. Let is try it with. It's nice and dry. That was fast, eh? <gasps> Water. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I cleaned up my water spill, which was so oh, lovely. So now you can see how it's nice in there, but I want to make it darker. So it was a nice attempt. Okay, we'll know that that nice sparkly black is just for coating something or you know it's just flowers maybe but not not for this so I'm using my archival ink and I'm pouncing with a makeup brush on top to make it more crisp because I want it to be crisp although I did like that nice sparkle I do want it to be very crisp so I'm just gonna keep doing it let's see here how this turned out a little better. 
So I'm just going to outline it a bit. And uh, go from there. Yeah, I, mean, I spilled water everywhere. It's okay. Well, my phone was on the floor too. Underneath it fell out of my pocket, which is really good that I missed it. <laughs> so, all right. I have my gel pen here, and I am just going to uh, draw in my lines. Maybe I'll use my Deco Arts pen. I think I will, just because. It is the one for... It's still got the sparkle, though, which is nice, through the ink, so I like that. So perhaps it wasn't, uh, you know, a loss there. It's just that it's not quite clear as I'd like it to be. But also it helps when there's not tons of texture on there to make it as clear as what it should be. So that could be a really huge factor. All the texture is taking away from the Yeah, from the stencil. I will show you the stencil on a nice clean paper to show you the difference here. Get my ink. It's a very nice stencil. I want to show you guys like how nice it is. Also, with such color in the background too. But it is just because what the color I first chose that wasn't quite prominent. But you see how nice the stencil really is. And you know what, I could even just use that over top. So. So I actually decided now that what I'm going to do is he is fine, but I kind of want him to stick out more. So I'm going to do this. You can do that where you can just do this. This is just pad paper. So you can do it in cardstock. I'm just going to do it on keep it cut the paper from the pad because this is just a fun um, index card. So if you were making a birthday card out of it or maybe even a postcard or something, you might want to put cardstock. Use cardstock, but see these things, these cards that you're making, it can be really great inspirations for future birthday cards and stuff like that so I like them and just even um, journal pages or anything else like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my do I have my glue stick available use my glue stick if, if it's around doesn't appear to be I have to open another pack If these ones actually work. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to glue him on there. And I'm just using, this is I think dollar store glue stick. <laughs> I buy several packs of these ones as well as the em em uh, Elmer's. But they work. These are good for, for the kids. So I buy a lot of them for the kids. So I am putting him on there because I just like the crisp. This. And yeah, could mod podge them on there too. Whatever. So nice, so cute. 
So, scissors. So I'm just kind of got to trim them up now. So yeah, the main idea was just to use a grungy um, napkin or something and put somebody or something on there. So now what am I going to do? I am going to use a different stencil. I decide I'm going to use this circle stencil as well. Um, but I'm going to use thicker black paint rather than what I used the last time. Actually, I'm going to use like a nice hmm, a pop of perhaps purple of spritz. So let's see here. My misters. And that's it. So some may have slid, but hey, that's okay. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to grab another, um, I'm going to grab this pad of paper here. And I'm just going to put it upside down. Grab what I can out of that. And put another piece. I could use these up after for anything for strapping and stuff, for making stuff. So there's that. Love it. And I do have now some wet <laughs> um, my paper towel because it spilt right there in my water. Anyways, there we go. I know, this seems like it's blurry a bit, but I don't know. So that is that one, and I'm going to use this and Skinder um, stencil. And this is a nice little kind of steampunk one. So I'm just going to stick it on there. I am going to grab a paper from my pad and just put it on top here like this and just go like this. Now I'm on his shoulder there. Slide it up. And I'm just going to get the purple or the... I'm actually going to add a little bit of the purple at the bottom here because I have some of the nice green in that side already of the tissue, if you recall, the teal, and I'm just gonna go spray the rest up there. Just like that. Put this paper on. Grab my other pad, just go like that. Doesn't matter, these are from the dollar store. Look at how that's coming through, so cool. You could use this for borders or whatever after, right, for anything, so. I'm just scooping it up. You could do it with your index cards too, but I have so many that I kind of want to... There, it's coming through really nice now. I'm pulling some of it up in there, but not too much, so it's really nice. And maybe I pulled too much, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to move this right there. Pull some of that color up off of that. Especially my sprays, my misters. Oh, I don't want to waste any of that. So I just pull them off. It's like playing here, just playing and, and using up time, really. But I'm not playing. See, so look how nice that paper is. So, anyway. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to work, but I'm going to throw some heat on it and just add a little bit more, that's all. Okay, so I wasn't happy with how light it is. You can see it, but because of all the texture, you can't really see it. And I did pull some of the nice bright color off. But it's still back there, so if I offset it, or flip it around, or whatever, I can still get a really cool something or other in there and not cover up all the green so i'm just going to kind of change position and i'm going to use black gesso or black modeling paste sorry and just use some of that in there instead because i with the texture i really need something with more texture to add so you can see it and that's really what i'm thinking i'm lacking there so 
throwing in some modeling paste. Not too much because the whole point was to, you know, use your little stuff as possible. But look at that. Isn't that cute? So, I am just liking that. I think it's cute. Again, you can still even use that. The white is not as, as awesome as the black when you're doing this kind of thing, but it's still, you know, you're picking it up. So this non-stick surface is great. It's a mess right now, but it's great. So I have decided that I want to use the little um, lines or the measurements down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just put those on. Just got to figure out which way I want them. I'm going to dry this. Um, cool. But now I'm thinking, though. well, I'm thinking I want to redo his face with the paste on the white paper on my thing here. So let's try it. It's an experiment we're going to go for. Because I do like the white face on the paper, which I should have probably done to begin with, with a very dark background to make it really crisp. And that's what I was thinking I'm lacking. Perfect, perfect. There, right on top of the scrap paper, that is one of these um, note papers. So it looks great. Now I'm just going to uh, get that on there. Right on there, I like that. Anything comes through, it's not going to get all up my hands. Some of it came through, but it's okay. Now I am just going to have to wipe it with a paper towel. And see my shadow! Chateau and have some alcoholic alcohol spray here like I'd like to use for and replace. I like to use it for my pencils and stuff. Clean it really cleans easy and fast when I use this. But I get this at the dollar store in that bottle, the alcohol. Okay. And Windex works really well too if you have one designated for your crafting. It'd be a cool idea. It's got the ability to get all that off too. So good. I like that. I do like that very much. I'm going to touch up his top hat and side there. So that's really cool. So that is with the um, um, modeling paste, the black modeling paste. I'm like, hey, let's go for it. Let's go instead of re-inking it. Let's make it really sharp and uh, add it to the oh, blurry piece. Why is it so blurry? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it up and then what I want to add is this 13. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to grab my modeling paste and I'm going to put the 13 in there. Lots of 13, lots of modeling paste there, maybe too much. Pull that up, and there we go. Lovely, lovely. Let's see how that turned out. Not too bad. So I'm just <laughs> kind of like, how is that going to come off? Experimenting here. And there is my scrappy. Well, using my scrap napkins or paper towels. Index card. 
So again, I'm going back to my metallic lusters, um, and I'm just going to throw in a little bit of silver, just touching, make it look more heavy metal. I don't know. See? This looks so cute. <laughs> it is not a cute photograph, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it looks so nice. So I'm going to go a little bit on his hat and on his clothing. And the hard edges make it look really cool. You can see the hard edges on there. So I like that look. And I'm just going to go a little bit over here. Just in places. And I'm going to call it almost done. Uh, I'm not going to go on his face in that, but um, I could also to put a few little doodles on it. Don't know. We'll see here. I might have to do this just because I want to try. So let's see here. What you can do with this really cool... Um, piece so with just a piece of paper or a napkin or whatever that's used so I'm just kind of like highlighting it here a bit You know, usually you do kind of a, a dark edge, but I'm kind of highlighting in a light edge just for opposite effect, kind of. Something different. And then I might even just go in and touch up here. Maybe I put too much white here with some silver. Silver pen's not that bright. I could go over the black again. But just doodle, play, have fun. Am I? Case is still soft, so it's not working the greatest. But it's kind of like a steampunky feel. Yeah. And I don't think that this is a done piece. I'm not putting it in sediment or anything like that. I think. Um, okay, for fun, I'm going to add one more thing. I got this painters on here. This is the Glass Painters by Decor. By the way, I'm, I'm just using it on here. I just like the way it works on the um, on your stuff. I haven't even tried it for the glass yet. I will, but it just really does work really well. So I'm doing um, this to tonic um, in the white painters. So I know it's not really going to snap out well because of the texture, but I thought I'm going to blow on, this is not blow on, but use your hot breath. <sighs> this is how you do it <sighs> with any ink <sighs> when you're going over and you got a bit, a bit of a space to <sighs> to um, write or color. You just do your hot breath on it and it'll refresh on the ink. Um, so it won't let, it won't dry out. So now I just thought that would be cool. Now doesn't that look cool? I love it. Just perfect. I decided to do that and I love the way it looks. So it's just perfect. Anyways, this is my iCAD for today and I hope you guys find it inspirational. I did learn a couple of things myself doing it, right? Um, it wasn't just the greatest idea to use a uh, uh, sparkle back, uh, black on a uh, uh, background like this. It has to be really crisp 
And even then, with the face, it would have been better to do it on the white cardstock or something. So then that's what I did. Just because it just crisp, it doesn't look great for the particular stencil to have the face, the background. But this is nice. It did come through really nice. So and I think it turned out good. I saved it. And I hope you guys like it. And um, don't forget that if you guys join my um, collage uh, uh, challenge, you have a chance to win this. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Bye, guys.